This is 11.4, expanding a logarithmic expression. Problem type one. So we, I did go ahead and put my three properties on there. And they're going to ask you to do two different things when it comes to these properties. They're gonna ask you one, to expand a logarithm expression. So you have one log with some algebra going on in there. And then they want you to use these properties to expand it out to multiple logs. And they'll ask you to do the reverse, which is to compress it. So they'll give you a bunch of logs and then you've got to rewrite it so that you're just using one log, okay? So those are the two types of problems that you'll see in um, using the properties. And so for this particular topic, they're asking us to expand it, okay? And what that means is you've got to write it so that the argument doesn't have a quotient, it doesn't have a product or an exponent, okay? And so right now, if you look at um, A, it has a quotient, a division, and it has an exponent, okay? And so they want you to get rid of that first. Now, here's the order in which you need to do the proper, or apply the properties so that you can um, be sure that you did it correctly, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is break up any quotients. So I do have a quotient, I have the numerator and then I have the denominator. So when I break up this log, it's gonna be the log, of the numerator minus the log of the denominator. And then if I had any products within these two logs, I would separate those products as well. But these are just one single base, so there's no product. So I don't have a step two in this problem here, okay? But I do have an exponent, so I do have a step three. And step three is basically to take that exponent and bring it to the front. So this becomes two log x, log z. And now if you look at both of the arguments, neither one of these arguments has a product, something multiplied together. Neither one of these arguments has a quotient, something being divided by something. And so then I am finished with expanding that particular problem. Now if we go on to side b. There are no quotients here, there's no division going on, so I don't have step one. But I do have a step two, and so I am going to apply this property. So I do have a product this times this, right? So it's gonna become log of the first thing plus, or the first factor, log of the second factor. And then again, I don't have any exponent here, so this one will just be repeated. But I do have an exponent here, which will come to the front of that log. So it'll become plus six log of y. Now the arguments don't have a product, don't have a quotient, and don't have an exponent. And so this is the completed expanded form. Now the last one, um, I have a quotient again, so I do need to do step one, so at the top and then the bottom. So this becomes log, um, of x minus log of y to the fourth. And I do have an exponent here which does need to come down. So then this becomes log of x minus four log of y. And we are finished.